He was the corrupt minister who wielded influence in the corridors of the New South Wales Parliament for two decades. But tonight, Eddie Obeid is beginning a new life as a jailed criminal. The former Labor minister was today sentenced to a total of five years jail for willful misconduct in public office. From one big house to another, Eddie Obeid will now spend Christmas in jail. Arriving at court, the 73-year-old appeared upbeat given the circumstances. Eddie, any final words? Soon any hope that the former Upper House MP would avoid a jail sentence was shattered. I'm satisfied that having considered all possible alternatives, no penalty other than imprisonment is appropriate. Mr Obeid, will you please stand up? The judge handed down a five-year maximum sentence, three years non-parole. Eddie Obeid's crime was to approach this man, Steve Dunn, Deputy CEO of New South Wales Maritime, in 2007. He lobbied on behalf of Sydney Harbourside Cafe tenants to get their leases renewed without a tender process. But he failed to tell Mr Dunn that his family had a financial interest in the cafes. I consider it inconceivable that he would have not have known that he could not use his position as a parliamentarian to further his or his family's financial interests. Obeid's distraught wife Judith was heard saying, I swear to God he doesn't deserve it, before she was helped outside. Clutching his medication, family rushed to ensure he would have access to it in jail. But they won't have access to his $120,000 a year parliamentary pension. The state government made that clear today and they want Obeid to pay hundreds of thousands in legal fees. A great sense of justice has been done. You use your public office uh, for personal gain. There is no excuse. Former colleagues welcome the sentence. This man abused the trust uh, that the people of New South Wales put into him. I say good riddance and uh, he can't get long enough as far as I'm concerned. But it's not over yet. Eddie Obeid is appealing against the conviction and sentence. And he has another criminal case to answer over a $30 million coal deal in the Hunter Valley, north of Sydney. Bridget Glanville, ABC News. Eddie Obeid is tonight in Silverwater Jail in Sydney. Carl Herr is there. Carl, the judge in this case, wanted to send a message to others today over corruption in politics. That's right, Karina. Justice Robert Beach Jones said that corruption is notoriously difficult to detect, let alone prosecute. And when it involves a politician, the sentence needed to act as a deterrent to others. He said that most politicians uh, are not trying to uh, enrich themselves or their families and generally do act in the public interest as they see it. Uh, but he warned that uh, the, uh, it only takes the actions of a few to undermine public confidence in the system. And this isn't the only prosecution against Eddie Obeid, Carl. He's also been charged over a coal deal. That's right. Eddie Obeid and his son Moses have been charged uh, over a uh, investigation by the ICAC into a coal exploration licence. That inquiry found that the Obeid family made $30 million from a deal involving a property uh, near Mudgee. Now, today, Eddie Obeid's lawyers did briefly mention the fact that he had another criminal trial pending uh, and wanted to be able to prepare for it. Of course, we know that none of the arguments uh, put forward to the judge were able to convince him uh, that Eddie Obeid should be out on bail. Carl Herr reporting there in Sydney.